Hi, I'm Martins from uh, Sonarworks. I'm a co-founder and uh, VP products uh, at our company. So welcome to our booth. We are uh, still featuring uh, Reference 4 that you already know and love, but uh, the big news this year is the Sound ID. So we went into huge, huge research about uh, what sound people actually like. We now have a research of over 40,000, uh, close to 40,000 uh, people who have participated in the sound preference test. And we can now conclude with data that actually people out there want and like different sounds. Actually, if you take one particular sound, then no more than 17% of the population are going to, that, that sound is going to be the best sound for no more than 17% of the population. There are different reasons why people like different sounds. Some, there is kind of genuine difference in preferences. Some people like a lot of bass, some people hate that. Some people like a lot of treble, some people hate that. And there are hearing differences. So we have now crafted Sound ID, which is an application that promises to find your personal perfect sound profile for each individual and then store that thing in the cloud and you can eventually then connect Sound ID to different sound devices and services as a consumer and be assured that you are getting the best possible sound experience for yourself. So we are now connecting the dots between music creators and music listeners saying, hey creators, keep using the flat reference sound, that's the best possible thing to create your music upon. But then also creators, it, I think it would be interesting for creators to understand that out there, actually people like and prefer different kinds of sounds. So to create most emotional engagement with your music, you actually have to allow or embrace the reality that it's best if the music is kind of personally tailored for each individual, starting from the studio reference level, but then uh, starting from the studio reference level, but then personalizing it for each individual. So here we have the uh, application that we have now created and launched that is uh, meant to find your personal sound preference. You can download, it's called Sound ID. You can download it now on uh, Apple Store and the Google Store for apps. And it's a very simple process, basically, where you go about creating your sound ID. You select the color that you like, and then you pick your headphones. But there we go. And then, uh, and then you go ahead and the app asks you a few simple, you pick a track that you like to use for uh, testing the sound. And then the app asks you a series of A, B questions about which sound you like. It's a machine learning algorithm that sits in the cloud and uh, processes the answers and uh, finds what questions to ask in order to find the best possible sound for you in the quickest possible manner. But basically it's a series of uh, A-B questions that the app is asking you. And then in the end, it's analyzing all the data and crafting the individual sound profile for you as an individual. Ultimately, we're dealing with frequency response. Of course, there are other parameters that characterize sound, but uh, fre frequency response, we find, is the most utmost important one. So we start there. And currently, it's finding kind of, it's optimizing your sound on three levels. It starts with removing the coloration from your device, your headphone or your speaker or your room to establish this studio reference sound. And then on top of that, you are, uh, uh, the app helps you find the EQ setting that would match your preference and that would match your hearing. So uh, we believe that all these three layers have to be taken into account in order to find the best possible sound for an individual. So that's what the, uh, what the app is after. We have released the app in early access. The application for creating your sound ID is out now. Everybody is welcome to kind of uh, download it, check it out and see if they like the sound that this app is suggesting for them. Uh, but then first half of the year, we'll be coming out with products that you can actually connect the Sound ID to. There will be a desktop experience. We're expecting a streaming service uh, connection to be available. There are a number of headphone manufacturers we're working with uh, to kind of get it uploaded in the headphone. So yeah. The latest biggest release that we had for the reference product was with 4.3. And with that, we introduced the sidebar into the system-wide solution of reference so that people, it was the most requested feature for that uh, app 
because uh, for people who have uh, multiple outputs, they work with multiple pairs of headphones and they have multiple channels that they would wish to calibrate, then uh, this brings more convenience because you can facilitate kind of more complex setups than just a single stereo pair out. It facilitates presets of different profiles and different output channels. So that was a very welcome uh, update to the product. And then from there, we are uh, we fixed a number of bugs in the software. We've made a little, a number of little kind of housekeeping, kind of small things to make things even kind of more easy to understand and even neater for the user. We've currently, as the main thing we've been working on, is we've been really focusing on getting the sound ID out so that we can connect the dots between the creators and the listeners. We hope that with this move, we will ultimately solve the translation problem of sound at its core because the sound will be flat sound in the studio plus the individual personalization for each individual. So we've been focusing quite a bit of our development and research effort onto that. Now when that is out and some products will start rolling out on the consumer space, we'll be getting back and uh, building a better next version of reference. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you.